In your Consumer Watch today, we're looking at the rising health care costs millions of Americans are facing. As open enrollment for health care is underway, we're looking into some of the ways that you can try to save some money this year. Joining us to dive deeper into that issue is Matthew Ray with the KFF, where he researches and analyzes private insurance markets. Matthew, thank you for being here with us. Thank you. So we know that the price of health care is something that rises every year, really. And we're hearing that a number of places are seeing that the cost of employer based plans are actually looking to be significantly higher this year Do you know by how much and what people should expect to pay on average. I mean, that's exactly right. Health insurance goes up every year. We had a big jump this year. So health insurance premiums increased to 7 percent this year, which is much larger than it was last year. So on average, health insurance costs a lot of money, which isn't going to be news to anybody. But um, on average, a family of four spends about $24,000 to enroll the family. That's the amount that both the workers and the employer chip in to, uh, to cover the family. Um, so going into next year, it's hard to say exactly how much premiums are going to increase, but many people think there's also going to be increases going into next year as well. So we're hearing that some employers might try to kind of limit this or limit the, the impact of it by limiting other coverage options. Any idea of what that might look like for your average person? Yeah, I mean, employers only have so many options. They want to be good purchasers of health insurance and make sure that they're offering products that people like. So they want to make policies that are generous and available, but they only have so many tools to, uh, to reduce costs. So you can reduce the number of providers who people can see, or reduce the number of services that are covered or increase the amount that people have to pay when they uh, use services. So what's higher deductibles or higher co-pays and co-insurances. We're pretty lucky over the last couple of years, deductibles have been pretty flat. We haven't seen big increases in deductibles or the amount that people have to pay when they actually use services, which is a good thing. But people are still on the hook for huge amounts of money sometimes when they want to use services. But a third of people have to have a deductible of more than $2,000 for just one person. Um, and many people face much, much higher deductibles when they want to have family members also seek care. It seems like we've been singing the same tune for a while, even in terms of groceries. How much of this would you blame on inflation? Oh, I think you put your finger on it. Premiums have gone up year after year, and part of that are sort of systemic factors that are leading to premium increases. But this year, inflation is a big part of the story, and it just has to be. I mean, when doctors' offices and hospitals get higher costs, higher labor costs, higher supply costs, they pass that on to insurers and then insurers raise premiums. So it's kind of a cycle. So the premium increase this year is absolutely a huge number. 7% is a big number, but it's kind of roughly in line with the increase in inflation, which isn't true than the story that we saw years and years ago when premiums were going much, much faster than inflation. So, so kind of a good news, bad news story there. So to clarify, you do believe it is really just the result of inflation. They're not sort of tacking a little extra on with, with that excuse? I mean, inflation is definitely leads to higher cost and that's being passed on. I mean, there may be other things. There are definitely other things at work here. Uh, I mean, we don't yet know how healthcare use changed. How much, pe how many services people use in a year really affects how much premiums are for employers. Okay, the big question, of course, how to save. So are there things that people can do to just keep in mind moving forward, maybe working with their employers to get some kind of deal? I mean, it's exactly the right question. I mean, people are in a real bind. When prices go up, people are on the hook for higher cost. I um, mean, you know, on average, a family spends about $6,500 in a role in family plan. That's a lot of money. It's just even more when you want to use services. I mean, for those people who are fortunate to have a choice of employer plans, you may want to shop. If you think you're going to have a high, a lot of health spending in the year, you may want to plan with lower deductibles, even if it means more money up front. Alternatively, you're a little bit healthier. You may want to take a risk and have a plan that has a higher deductibles if it means you have a lower premium contribution. But many of us don't get the choice. Yeah. Well, it is right about that time, open enrollment season. So for those who yeah. can make the choice, thanks so much for giving us some insight here. This is Matthew Ray from KFF. Thanks for joining us today.